these bills save something. I need 10 more hours in a day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, everybody. How are you all doing this evening? It's hot, okay? It's hot. That's why I have this top form and some jeans. I did have it paired with this top right here. My jean top over it. <laughs> But it's hot. It's hot in this kitchen right now, and I am cooking seafood, so it's too hot to try to be cute, y'all, in the kitchen. I'm boiling shrimp, so I'm doing a shrimp boil today. Um, my brother just left. He had went on and added my crab boil, and I had a little bit left in here. It probably was like to the yellow line, and then he he did. Well, it was over the half. It was. I want to say it was like a little bit under half, and then he did. To about right here, and this was a, a new one. Uh, and it always makes me cough. That's why I only have my brother do it. And then I added two sticks of unsalted um, butter. I just like to add butter in mine. If you guys know me, y'all know that. Um, so I had my brother, like I said, I had him lift my pot and all of that. Cause it's stuff heavy, y'all. That's a big pot, y'all know my big old. Um, And then if you have a nose one, anyway. so I'm trying to cut my onions here, y'all. This what? is my Bayou Classic pot. I have shared this pot a long time ago with you all. So now the only thing that I'm doing, I'm just getting onions and I'm cutting them in half. I know I want to do that. And I'm just dropping them in the pot. I'm not worrying about peeling them anything. This one I'll throw out because it fell. And these are those. My dear, your onions, if you guys remember when I did my grocery haul, these are the ones that I bought. Like I said, I'm just cutting them in four because they will break apart as this water boil. Okay, and I'm just going to cut them in half. So I did two whole onions. And I am watching the football game. I'm listening to it. The Saints is playing the Bucks at home. And y'all know I'm a Saints fan. And then also, um, I love Green Bay. And they are playing Dallas after this game. So that's what I'm gonna be doing and then see. And then with my garlic, I had whole garlic. So y'all know with whole garlic, you end up with the clove. I'm not even gonna bust the clove open. I just actually bust open the garlic and I'm just adding that right to the pot. And then my garlic, going in a pot so right now i have onions garlic and before i came on camera i had put a bit whole bell pepper in there also i didn't share that because i was trying to get my brother to get my camera set, um fixed so yeah, my brother set all that up for me before he left now i'm gonna add probably the i'm gonna add the red bell pepper and i have a red orange and yellow not for any other purpose. I just I put one grain and now I'm just gonna add red. Like I said, it's not any reason that I'm doing it that way. It's doing it that way. And I just cut it in half. I do keep my bell peppers in the freezer. So I just cut one whole bell pepper up in the eighth. All in there, and that's it. And then my onions, my garlic, my bell peppers all go back into my bag, and I keep them in my freezer because I don't want that smell getting into my ice cream. And that's making me coat right now. I'm adding my bleach to this water, and then I'll fill this back up. I'll fill that back up. These are my seasonings, so let's go back in the freezer. Louisiana, you know, weather over in New Orleans. Oh, come on. You know, I know some people over in New Orleans, here in Mississippi, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia, or Georgia, Florida, whatever, whatever area you're in, Texas, it's like this whole, do you put this in first, do you put this in first, and it's kind of like your preference, your style. I don't like mushy potatoes, um, I don't like soft corn, um, 
And I don't like for my shrimp to be overcooked. When your shrimp is overcooked, you can tell it because it's hard to peel. You want your, you know, your shrimp to just peel. You just want it to just peel right on off. Um, I know some people just add everything in at one time. Some people don't. And it's your preference. It's your style. Y'all already know I like to cut my sausage like this when it goes in my, in my um, beans. If it's going in my seafood, that's just how I do it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys the inside of this pot. Um, I, the only reason I didn't have it this close up earlier because I didn't want to make the mistake of my phone, my phone falling in this pot because my phone would have been gone and I need my phone. <laughs> so this is the um, my seafood, my garlic, onions, everything. Every, everything is all in here. The onions, the corn, bell peppers, garlic. Onion, smoked sausage. It's all in here. So I'm gonna let all of this just boil and do its thing. Do its do its thing and let it boil for a for a while. Um, when it get to, I can't really say how long I'm gonna let it boil. I'm just gonna let it boil for a while. It may boil for 30 minutes. It may boil for 40 minutes. But I'm just gonna let it all come to a boil until the onions and everything is translucent and stuff like I like it. And then I'll come in and I'll add my potatoes and then I'll add my shrimp. So when I get ready to do that, I will definitely come in and share with you guys because I will remove my corn at that time. I leave my sauce, I will leave my sausage in here, but I do remove my corn because like I said I don't want my corn to get mushy, but I'll leave the sausage in here when I add my potatoes. I got my mama home. <laughs> my mama is home so she can help her baby now. Because <laughs> I've been trying to struggle through all this by myself. All right, here's the shrimp going in. I already took out. Let me get on the side. I already took the corn I'm gonna out. Do it slowly because I don't want, I don't want it to pop in my eye. And I didn't. I ain't want my corn to overcook. So I'll be in the hospital. right. So she just adding the shrimp, and I got twenty five dollars worth of shrimp, and those shrimp was. A dollar ninety-eight a pound. So I got a lot of shrimp. So it'll be enough for Felicia one take some back with a win. Cause it's just us, but I know when my baby been home, she haven't really had shrimp, so and I do leave my heads on. I know sometimes people peel their heads off when they boil their shrimp, but I like to do my shrimp with the head on. And like I told y'all, I did um I added my potatoes in. I didn't come on camera when I put the potatoes in because um, I was trying to record my other video, but I had the potatoes already boiling for about a good 30 minutes or so, and then now I'm coming in with my shrimp. The shrimp do not take long to boil. You know, you guys know that, and I said that because if you boil your shrimp long, they get tough, and you can't peel them, and if you can't peel them, they overcook <laughs> I do not want nobody's overcooked dry shrimp. I just cook them until they're pink. And it is a lot of them. So you just got to kind of eyeball it. They won't cook over 20 minutes. I can tell you guys that. Um, yeah, we play at 12. And then Dallas and Green Bay play at 3. Yeah, they home. Every time they home, they, they either going to play at 12 or they'll play the 7 o'clock game. They won't play at 3 if they home. And then y'all see the sauce. That's why I say I like to keep my sauce big because I want to eat. I, I'm a meat eater. I'm a huge meat and seafood eater. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and let those do its thing. And then, like I said, my corn, you guys. All right, fam. This is what we got going on. Football. <laughs> y'all already know. Football. Y'all already know. They go, mama. Brown team. Deontay dumped the pot. Oh, let me move my charge out the way, Jesus. Deontay already done dumped the pot. My mom done put everything in the container. The girls are going to clean up the colander and wipe down the stove. But here we go, y'all. Corn, potato, sausage, shrimp, and then, of course, the onions and all of that is probably most likely at the bottom. Y'all know when you drain it, it's just... So we have a lot. So we will have enough for the next couple of days. And Alicia will probably have something to take back with her. If she choose. But if y'all follow me on Snap. Y'all already seen it before this video came out. 
So I'm going to let all this goodness cool down. But this is our dinner. Because I know, like my boy say, baby, you have to start sharing your stuff when it's done cooking. And usually when I'm done cooking, I'm tired. And I just want to sit down. I don't even eat when I'm done cooking. I have to sit and rest because I snack throughout the cooking process. But I am coming back on to make it a point because I'm editing a video. So I wanted to share with you guys my food. We probably will do a mukbang. I'm going to try to get everyone to do one while we're sitting at the table. But it'll probably be after our Saints game go off and the Dallas and Green Bay game come, game come on. Because I'm going to turn this table the other way. And so I'll be able to watch the game. Because I'm not missing football. I'm not, y'all. I'm not. I'm not. So please make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and y'all have your post notification bell on so y'all would not miss any of our uploads whether we're cooking doing mukbangs whatever we're gonna do just say hi babe hey <laughs> just say yeah he's he really needs he's some popcorn so i will see y'all later love y'all bye guys